Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day four of the July League Code Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Uh, day fifth of the League Code Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's far. I'm doing it on July 4th. That's why I'm a little confused. I, I'm still adjusted to New York time and all that stuff. Uh, hopefully, you know, you enjoy my drone shot. It's still me, clearly. Uh, I. I have a lot of backlog. Uh, I'm gonna just show a couple of things from um, from when I was in uh, Kyrgyzstan in Bushak. Um So yeah, hopefully you enjoy that nature thing for like ten seconds. Anyway, let's get to today's problem and let's get to it. Today's problem is 1493, longest subway of once after deleting one element. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. Uh, Maybe I already said it. I, I'm getting old. Okay, so given an array, a binary array, nums, you can delete one element from it. We turn to... Okay, so this one, um, I think it depends on how you like to think about problems. Um, and I think that with these kind of problems, I always encourage to kind of look for different angles. Um, just for... Um, not necessarily, you know, it, from... Uh, mathematical things it's not always that there's one solution or one way to do it uh, or even when maybe another way of saying it is that even when there is an implementation um, even if there are two identical implementation people could have different understanding of it and the different understanding of those problems could have different implications with respect to uh, uh, the bounds and stuff like this right uh, meaning like inclusive bounds, exclusive bounds, stuff like this. Um, and I always encourage people to kind of think about, uh, you know, just looking at it from other angles and try to see if you can re reconceptualize the, the problem in a different way, right? Um, so that um, maybe this particular way of phrasing doesn't have, um, you know, you don't have a tool in your toolkit for it, but maybe you just say it a little bit differently there is something in your toolkit for it, right? Um, I, I think, uh, and maybe I should have done this in my other video, but in Q3 of the last week's uh, weekly contest, um, the one that I did terribly on, I think that was the problem that I had, right? Uh, upon reflection, um, it wasn't, it was that I was asking the wrong question. It was, I was asking that, what is the... <clears throat> Maybe I should put this on a different video, so apologies. But, eh, you know, the daily videos, I'm a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a relog, but kind of just like uh, my thoughts as well sometimes uh, in this moment in time, right? Uh, I think for me, I was trying to think, I think I got a little bit confused about that problem with respect to getting the last, uh, let me just pull it up real quick. Sorry if this wasn't what your intentions are. But, um, you know, we're all here to learn, hopefully. You know, if you don't find it interesting, you'll skip ahead to where I talk about it anyway. Uh, but it is a... No, it wasn't this one. Did I click on the wrong one? Oh, it was this one. It was this one. It was just that I was thinking of something else. Um, yeah, and th in this particular one, I think, um, yeah, I think, I think in this particular one, uh, uh you know, you, I, if you go over the video, I talk about the, the end result, and it took me a while to get there, but one, the main reason why that is, is that I, w there's a minor, uh, observation of minus switch, if you will, that basically I was for some. Well, there are a couple of confusion. First was that I I thought I was supposed to get the last number. Like I was trying to get, or I, in my head, I was trying to get the last number that was too big or too smaller. I mean, you know, without loss of generality, right? But the the thing that kind of got me to fix it finally is to actually rephrase it in of. Is there a number that's two or, you know, x plus two for some x or the current number x? Um, what is the biggest number, and is that number bigger than x plus two? Right. So that's basically the idea that 
I eventually um, that 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 framing, right? I mean, let me tr- let me say it again because it, it it it's very easy to miss. It's very minor. It's very quick. And in fact, it, I, I missed it for a while, right? Is that instead of getting um, the last number or a number that is x plus two or x minus two um, or bigger, it is you can rephrase the question as x plus two. Oh, sorry. You can rephrase the question as what is the biggest number and is that bigger than x plus two? And once you kind of make that switch, the problem became like a five liner. I, I didn't even, I actually even took it longer, but you, you could do it in like 10 lines of code. And that's why people got it in like two minutes and I did not. You know, you, I mean, I wouldn't say usually, but probably more often than not I do. But you know, some days you just have bad days. It's fine. Anyway, um, it's not necessarily. Why did I, you know, brought, uh, bring this up here for this problem, right? I think for these kind of things, it's it's a similar problem in the way that you have to think about. Um, so it's not a necessary in, intentional misdirection, but misdirection nonetheless is how they're phrasing it and what's a better way that it fits with tools that you might already have. And for this one, instead of saying deleting one element. Well, there are a couple of things, right? One is that you know you want to delete a zero. If you delete a one, that doesn't make any sense. Or like it doesn't do anything, right? Uh, and then after that, you go, okay, what is the longest sub- array that contains one zero? And then that allows you to have, you know, multiple ways of doing it. Now that you just phrase it that way, right? Because now, instead of deleting element and maybe, you know, doing with like, uh, expensive deletes and stuff like this and then try to get max and then you know I don't know maybe maybe if you're really fancy you could actually even use segment tree you know for each number binary search to see how, how far you can go to where you can still have one zero I mean that's a solution right um, and that's a solution that people can have like you can have, use segment tree you could use binary index tree on this one if you really 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 want to right um, but of course, the idea is to simplify it in a way that you can write as soon as possible. And anyway, and of course, maybe some of this is kind of artificial in the sense that, and you may be like, oh, this problem is easy. Why is Larry doing all this, like, you know, talking about all these things? Uh, you know, um, I mean, it's just to kind of give a different perspective and a different thing about, you know, getting better and stuff like this. Um uh, and you know, if, if I, I if I, I demonstrate that principle in a harder problem, you might not understand you know this one. But but this one, it's relatively okay to understand, and you kind of see different ways of looking at it. And and that you know, I I get a lot of questions in my comments and YouTube and Discord and all those other things about you know I'm stuck on you know Q three uh, or solving two or three problems on. On the code contest, um, which is you know uh, uh, a thing, and can solve Q four right, um, and I think that's where the the switch is is that on Q four is when you need to start using these skills. Not always, not all the time. The code is very uh, you know inconsistent about things. It's uh, consistently inconsistent, if you will, uh, but you know maybe that's me too, uh, and. But, you know, that, that that's not always necessary their fault in the sense that, you know, you have four problems and two or three of those problems are more or less standard. You only really have one problem to kind of uh, modulate or moderate. And, you know, you, it's hard to get right with one problem on, on one contest. But in any case, that that's all that said. Uh, when you kind of start looking in all the like thinking about different ways of thinking about it that you have not done before and stuff being like oh this is just a for loop and then solving the same thing the same way every time then you know um that's when you're able to kind of bring it all together and and you know just think about things and and uh, the other one, one more thing. I don't know. I, I've been ranting a lot today, so so maybe that's just one of the, one of those days. Happy Fourth of July, everybody! But uh, yeah, I think one of the, one of these things about 
that that's related to kind of looking at all these problems from different angles is that is that you know uh you know you you're here you're watching me I appreciate it um and a lot of it you know and many many of the times not all the time um you know uh, maybe say 90% of the time say I don't know of the problems that you see me on you on at least on the daily problems like I get it very quickly right and I know the solution uh, and maybe I've seen it before probably I've done it before so it's in it before you in this one um so so it, it may I hope that I don't give the wrong impression that it is easy in that you know I've seen everything before done everything before etc right um having different ways of and thinking and exploring different ways of thinking about it sometimes takes a long time right sometimes it takes half an hour or 40 minutes an hour two hours longer well i only say and i only say that 30 and 30 minutes in an hour is a long time it's not a long time really to, to solve a new problem but it is a long time in the contest you know in competitive programming in contest uh that kind of link, but right? if you only have two hours to solve, a, two and a half hours to solve a contest, uh, well, an hour for one problem is pretty long, right? That's what I mean to give proper context. Um, but it's also okay to, uh, you know, and that's what, that's what, you know, that's what you're doing in that hour. You're exploring different angles, seeing things that you haven't seen, and try to see if you can think out of, okay, if I see it this way, do I have the tools to solve it that way, right? And sometimes it may be no. Like if, if you don't know segment tree, it doesn't matter how many ways you know about it. Uh, so you're not going to solve it with segment trees, right? Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for all the uh, ranting now. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'm just answering a couple of FAQs of this one. But I'm not going to title it like that. So I don't know. Maybe you won't even see it. Um, but okay. Let's actually solve today's problem. <sighs> okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do it. Like I said, uh, if you really, really want to uh, mess around and challenge yourself, try doing it with sec tree. Um, I think it's like end of lock square end or something like this. Mm. Which, eh, eh, maybe it's a little bit slow. I don't know. But, but that's fine. It's just about playing around and practicing. Uh, probably can't even do... A, you could even... I mean, segment tree is obviously an overkill and maybe even not fast enough but you could also solve this with prefix sum for example uh, with binary search on each number so that you can play around that as well uh, and there are other ways but the way that you know I always try to solve it as obviously uh, during contest time is just doing it as quickly as possible and as we said the observation here is deleting the zero because why would you ever delete a one if you ask that and you're right uh, in that sense, it's kind of greedy, but everyone calls everything greedy these days, so maybe I, I don't know anymore. But, uh, yeah, but we can actually just, yeah, delete one zero. And what does delete one zero do? Delete one zero joins two components of ones, so that's what we'll do. We'll just look at adjacent components of ones, right? So, yeah, so maybe I'll, I'll rewrite the way. Uh, and implementation, you can actually do this with, constant space uh to be frank ah, okay let me try to do it with constant space and stuff uh instead of uh instead of you know being that lazy maybe today you know I i'll do it that way All right so uh let's say one is equal to zero if x is equal to zero uh, one is equal to zero else increment by one uh, and then now best is equal to max best of one. So this is basically saying if we don't delete any characters, just uh, I I know what I'm doing D right now maybe we we'll see. But um yeah this is saying what is the longest subarray of ones without deleting an element. So then now uh, maybe we add a previous one. Right and then oops. <laughs> did oops twice and then previous is equal to run and then best is equal to max best one plus previous and this should be good maybe hmm. okay mr case oh oops um hmm. 
that makes sense. Huh. I'm trying to be too clever with the thing, but uh, previous. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, okay. Actually, we only want this to be here. <laughs> Still wrong. Wait. Oh, you have to delete zero. I was a little bit wrong about it. I mean, okay. I mean, this is just a misunderstanding. You should delete one element from it versus you have to. Mm, okay, fine. Uh, hmm. I mean, I think this is the only case. I'm trying to think whether we need to kind of change with the logic or this is the only case where there's no zeros. Because otherwise, you can. if there's one zero, you will always delete the zero. Oh, and it even tells you you must delete one element. Eh, okay, fine. But um, so if there's no zeros, then you just, okay, fine, right? So... Let's give it a submit. Hopefully I didn't make any silly mistakes. And there we go. Uh, linear time, constant space. We do two linear scans. Uh, well, I guess this is, yeah, two linear scans. Oops. So, yeah, and constant space, you can see it. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. It's a little bit long video. Hopefully, hopefully it is useful to you. Uh, have a good rest of the week. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.